In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make intros and outros automatically for all of your videos when you create content using repurpose.io. Up to you can obviously just take your phone and shoot a video with your intro, right? This is going to be the intro for every single video that you want for that specific platform. So today I'm going to show you the example with a TikTok as the source going to my Facebook page. And to be honest, I kind of forgot that I did an outro for this. I didn't do an intro for it, but whenever I went back and checked on my Facebook page, because it's automatic, so I never really have to look at it too much, I realized that my followers were a little bit higher um, compared to like some other platforms. And I was wondering why. And then I saw the outro on some of my videos that got automatically posted. And then I realized that my call to action on my outro was follow to learn more. And so then I was like, wow, that's really cool. And, I, and it kind of reminded me about intros and outros. And I figured, man, a lot of you guys might not be able to know how to do that yourself. So you can obviously take your phone and just shoot like an intro right here. Just a quick one, like marketing tips, something like that. And this is just an example. Obviously your niche is going to be different. And then you can make a separate video um, for the outro, like follow for more marketing tips. And so that will be the intro for before every single video content. And then the follow part, the call to action will be the outro for every single video for that automation. And so if you don't want to just make a video like this, you can always go to something like Canva on your computer and um, you can set up a free account. And all you have to do is go to videos and you just do TikTok video or Instagram or whatever you want to do. But I'm guessing that you're doing vertical. So when you get into this, you can um, go to the different settings and you can use other software too, um, not just Canva, but just to give you kind of an idea of how you can create this on your own. If you don't want to just do talking face, um, all you have to do is go to search mobile video templates and you just put um, intro and you just see what pops up. We're just waiting just a little bit, but there's a bunch of different um, templates that you can use right there and then. And so you can just click on one and customize it and put in your images. So like click on this one. And if I wanted to, I could just go to upload because you can upload a photo of yourself or whatever you want to do. Right. And um, put the image in there, put the video in there. And then so all you have to do is click share on the top right. When you when you're finally done with the colors and everything you want to do for your intro or outro, then you just do download. So now that you have your intro and outro, whether you did it yourself or whether you use a different software, I want to show you how simple it is to add an intro and outro to any of your workflows. So it, and the cool thing about this is you can actually make every single platform a different intro and outro. So like, for example, if you want to make your YouTube shorts outro, the call to action say, um, make sure to subscribe to watch the full video. You know, you can make it uh, platform specific, which is really, really cool. And so all you have to do is, first of all, if you already have workflows set in motion, you just go to the little cog button um, for each workflow on the right. And it'll give you a bunch of different options. Like for this one, it's TikTok to snaps, Snapchat. Um, all you have to do is do intro file. You click on that and you just upload um, the intro or outro file you just did. And the same thing with the outro file. And then you want to save. So it's that simple. If you already have a workflow, um, then, then you literally just upload it. <laughs> and so every time your automation kicks in, it'll have the intro and the outro, which is really cool. But if you've never um, had one before, you simply just do it like normal. You connect your connections on the left side. So you connect um, your source platform that you want to have the, the content come from. And then obviously you want to have your destinations. And so once you connect those, which is very simple, you just simply connect them. Then you go to create workflow and I'll, I'll just make all like repeat one, right? For my Facebook page. So you do create workflow and this is the same process uh, for all your workflows. So I just want to just reiterate just how easy this is once you get it going. So you do create workflow and when that pops up, we'll see, you just name it. So you just do like, for example, a uh, TikTok to Facebook page. Um, that will be this workflow and you want to choose the source. So my source is going to be TikTok. And then whenever, if you have multiple TikToks connected, this is where you choose it, but I only have one. 
and then you want to do upload video and you want to do the full video, the full tech talk video. And then you just want to choose the destination as a uh, Facebook. And then you can choose the Facebook page and then you can select which page. Obviously I have quite a bit on there and then you just want to select reels. And then, so when you press done, your workflow will be done. And so again, once you finish the workflow, you simply go back to that little cog, um, to the right of view content. So it'll be this one and you just, um, upload. So right now I have my outro video on there, which I told you, I kind of forgot about, but it was helping. Um, so I can also put, um, an intro file as well. So really cool, really neat. Um, I, just a lot of times I don't feel like people uh, know how to do that. So if you learn something, let us know in the comments. If you're going to utilize this, let us know. If not, tell us why. And so love to hear your thoughts on it. And if not, we will see you guys in the next video.